everybody, it's Jennifer from RustBeltChronicles.com Rocklines, and I'm here in Lakewood, Ohio at the Foundry Concert Club with Davey Suicide. How's it going? It's going very well. I'm going a little bit of rush Unexpe today. It's unexpectedly going very well. Okay. Well, we, uh, we're excited to be here tonight. They're performing with Monster Dolls and a few other local bands, but more importantly, we're here to hear about your new album that came out. Um, how's that going for you guys? It's going well. Uh, we, we charted on Billboard, which was fantastic. Charting higher, doing better than a lot of bands that are labels that they push you. So I think it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, shout out to the fans for making this high share. Now, when you were writing Made from Fire, that was kind of during a tumultuous time. When you're kind of going up against the establishment, to kind of get control over over your your art. Um, how did that affect this this album lyrically and musically? Anything different that came out in this album that wasn't really in the others? I mean, I think all the, uh, the emotion was in a really genuine place. It was. Uh, manifested from a first person point of view and uh, I think that's probably why it translated better than our, our record before this obviously we didn't have a label fucking us and that, that, that helps too but uh, it was a very vulnerable time in the band in my life mentally and uh, we got something really fantastic out of it one thing I think it's kind of interesting about you is that you seem to be very open about when things are, are stressful or kind of, you know, stressing you out and make you hard. Even your name, uh, Davy Suicide, I think it's interesting when I read the website where that came from and how it's it's all about, um, you know, motivating yourself that you're the only person that can get in your own way. And I just wonder what kind of shaped you to have that kind of uh, strength. I don't feel like I'm very open. <laughs> so it's. I appreciate you thinking that. Well, it seems I, like you are. Your fans I, seem to feel yeah, like you are, and I think that's why they feel more comfortable. I think artistically, you. I think I am, just because it's uh, it helps me try to understand myself, I guess, a little bit more. But um, I feel like there's just so much negativity in the world that you kind of need some rocks to stand on that are sturdy. And uh, if, if there are people paying attention to us and to what we're about, I'd like to try to encourage them and discourage them. So that's why I try to take a positive situation even out of the darkest of hours. And, uh, yeah, it yeah. seems like that's that's kind of what, what, what maybe people are gravitating to us about. Yeah, it's like you shine a, kind of a light in a dark place. You right. can't do that. That and we're fucking awesome live. That's cool. That too. We're about to see that. I actually got to see you um, hitting the clink and prior to that uh, when you're on tour with uh, Kobe Christ and Dope. Oh yeah. And uh, I know you were on tour with Doyle, so how was going on tour with kind of these older, more established bands kind of affected the way you do things? Um, what kind of good good habits did you pick up from being around them? And kind of bad they habits did you pick up? Maybe, I don't know, maybe they were bad habits. They don't sweat the small things, and I like that. You know, they just kind of, they don't nitpick about, it's like you choose your issues and then you address the big ones, and then you let everything else kind of go under the bridge. And, uh, also, I think that I, I like to study the artists that have been around for decades because I like to think that we would be around for decades. You know? And um, musically, we've always kind of been up the lane of like a zombie or Manson or Alice Cooper or like Guns or whatever, like where we're, it's not a fad. Like everyone that's on the Warped Tour scene, that's a fad. It's going to die away and, and, and you're cool for a couple of years and you disappear or you have to make a style change to remain relevant. And uh, for us, we've just liked bands that have always been kind of, uh, kind of decadent, and, uh, and I think that we'll end up working to our advantage. But to get back to your question, I think uh, we've learned a lot more good habits, you know. And, and I also reflected back to what we have, and we're a very self sufficient band. And I feel like we can do, we can kind of run laps around a lot of these bands that have big crews. With the way our stage setup is, we're very, like, very. Kind of innovative slash, uh, what's the right word? I, just we make things work out of small amounts of stuff, and I think that we're very inventive, so I like that. But uh, it just it makes me appreciate my guys so much more to be in those environments where they maybe take the long way, where you can kind of cut through the, you know, cut through the forest a little bit quicker. Well, I kind of only have one more question for you because I know they have to get on stage. Pretty soon, we're so high maintenance over here. You have made a quote, and I know they mentioned a lot of interviews um, where you said that rock fans haven't gone anywhere, they just need a reason to fall in love again. And um, I wonder what you think needs to be done for that to happen. 
applicable to kind of let them be very strong. We've been to read some bands who kind of feel like the opposite, like no one cares, blah, blah, blah. It's, you know. People care. I just think that you got a million things you can do on the internet to not leave your house. So people are lazy because there's an overindulgence going on. Uh, the problem with a lot of bands is they can't write their own songs. And they have songwriters writing for all these bands. That's why they all sound the same. So there's nothing unique about them. It's just a different voice over the same song. So when you find bands that actually write their own songs, they sound different. Get behind those bands. Get because those are those the bands, bands that are making some real magic out of it. There's assembly line bands and there's real bands. Well, we're excited to be here tonight to see a real band that won the show. Suicide and um, check out their website www.davysuicide.com, davysuicidemerch.com to support them and buy all sorts of really cool things. Yep. And look for us on rustbeltchronicles.com and our Rocklines channel on YouTube. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.